I'll be in touch. Oh, and some have called me the Martian Manhunter. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 DCEU moments of 2021. You see who that is? Huh? It's your mom! For this list, we're looking at the biggest, brightest, and most emotional scenes that appeared in movies based on DC Comics this year. As great as the Batman trailer was, we'll only be talking about moments from projects that have already been released. Since we are talking about major plot details, a spoiler warning is in effect. What was your favorite DCEU moment this year? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Cyborg tests out his powers. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Life, but turned into this. Fans spent a lot of time getting to know Cyborg and Zack Snyder's Justice League. His best scene came when he was pushing the limits of his abilities. After a car accident nearly took his life, alien technology saved him and turned him into a cybernetic human hybrid. Although Victor initially retreated from the world, his father's words push him to see what his body can do. No firewall can stop you. No encryption can defy you. We're all at your mercy, Vic. We're then treated to a unique and creative sequence where Cyborg experiments with his powers. It all builds to a moment where he truly enjoys flying. While parts of his backstory are unquestionably grim, this scene marked a rare time where we see him full of joy. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Number nine, Sebastian bonds with Bloodsport, the Suicide Squad. Boy, calm down with the rats. What? I have a thing with rats. Bloodsport's fear of rats is initially played for laughs. However, we later learned the sad truth that his cruel father was responsible for the squad leader's rodent phobia. This meant that he couldn't hang with the adorable rat Sebastian no matter what the little guy did. It looked like he would always be at odds until the movie's final moments. After completing an exhausting mission, Sebastian decides to rest on Bloodsport's lap. Just when it looks like the mercenary is about to do something drastic, he decides to pet the rodent instead. This sweet moment showed Bloodsport had become more vulnerable and was no longer purely defined by his past trauma. Oh, he always wants to be near you. I think he senses good in you. Number eight, King Shark makes new friends. The Suicide Squad. That said, the walking to Budon is gonna have to stay out of sight. I wear disguise. Since King Shark is a massive talking fish, he had trouble relating to everyone around him. However, that did not stop him from making earnest attempts to fit in. King Shark finally seemed to find beings he could bond with when he met a school of weird aquatic creatures. Although he didn't speak to them with words, the big fish appeared to have a deep connection to them. New dumb friends! <laughs> Seeing King Shark run and play with beings as weird as he was was extremely heartwarming. And while his good times with them certainly didn't last, he still found people who understood him in the end. Now it! Monster is num num! Monster num num? Yes! Number seven, Batman meets Joker in a society. Zack Snyder's Justice League. You need me to help you undo this world you created by letting her die. After the heroes stopped Steppenwolf's plot, Batman got a glimpse at an extremely bad future. While several DC figures appear in this apocalyptic hellscape, we really got excited when a certain clown came into view. Jared Leto returned to play a Joker who looked like he was having the time of his life opposite Affleck's very serious Batman. Their conversation is full of interesting nods to their DCEU history and unforgettable dialogue. And I'm happy to discuss with you in any way like why you sent a boy wonder to do a man's job. As their scene goes on, it feels like Batman is getting closer to ending the Joker right there. Even though they didn't trade blows, this great conversation feels like an epic duel between comic icons. How many can die in your arms before you grow numb to death? That's not very careful. Number six, Amanda Waller gets a dose of karma. The Suicide Squad. All that stuff about his daughter, you wouldn't really do that, right? You don't know half of what I would do, John. The 
the ruthless Amanda Waller got away with a lot of despicable things throughout the course of the Suicide Squad. She threatened Bloodsport's family, made people risk their lives to hide government secrets, and knowingly sent an entire team of villains into a deadly war zone. But Waller eventually learns that there are some lines that she shouldn't cross. After Starro the Conqueror starts attacking innocent people, she tells the squad not to help in any way. Not our problem. If you've destroyed Jotunheim and the records within, you've achieved the objective. When the task force ignores her, she tries to assassinate them and gets knocked out by an employee. It was incredibly satisfying to see Waller get a taste of her own medicine for once. But did this experience inspire her to be more kind? Somehow, we doubt it. Oh, that's just a taste of what's on that drive. I've uploaded it all to a secure server. Number 5. Harley Quinn's Hallway Scene – The Suicide Squad I will ask again, how many metapowered teammates arrived with you to Corto Maltese? A crooked Corto Maltese president thought it would be a good idea to keep Harley Quinn locked up in cuffs. But he had no idea who he was dealing with. After one of her captors lets his guard down, Harley gets free and goes to take out every enemy standing in between her and the door. Watching her slay dozens of foes without breaking a sweat made her feel like a force of nature. The creative choreography and visuals kept the action scene varied and fun to watch. And even though the scene goes to dark places, there is humor sprinkled throughout to keep us laughing. If anyone wondered why Harley's on the squad, this scene would definitely answer their question. What are you guys doing? What? Well, I you, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? Number four, Dark Side drops in. Zack Snyder's Justice League. My lord, I am but your humble servant. Can it be true that you have found it? In the original cut of Justice League, we never saw Dark Side on screen. Fortunately, the legendary villain had a few epic moments in the spotlight in the Snyder Cut. Darkseid's most memorable scene takes place during a flashback sequence where he leads an attack on Earth. The leader of the invaders was a being called Darkseid, a name cursed and feared in every universe. This incredibly powerful villain is able to take multiple opponents out and defeat a Green Lantern with ease. It takes the combined efforts of a powerful Atlantean, Ares, and Zeus just to injure Darkseid. Although he's forced to retreat, it doesn't make him seem any less tough. Any villain that can take hits from multiple Greek gods and walk away is not someone to mess with. Ready the Armada. We will use the old ways. Number 3. Cleo leads the charge against Starro, the Suicide Squad. Cleo Cazzo, aka Ratcatcher 2, showed us how scary her ability to control rats could be in several ways. We saw the full extent of her powers when the squad fought Starro. In a triumphant moment, Cleo summoned what appeared to be every rat on Cordo Maltese. This city isn't ours. This city is theirs. Her trusty ally Sebastian and an army of rodents scurried to bring down Starro for good. What makes this skin-crawling scene stand out is that it contains a flashback to Cleo's childhood. It was emotional to see her bond with the father who taught her everything she knows before his tragic passing. Why rat, Papa? Rats are the lowliest and most despised of all creatures, my love. If they have purpose, so do we all. While Cleo's effective abilities may make you want to take a shower, the emotional story behind her talents will also make you root for her. I'm going to get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Number 2. Superman Confronts Steppenwolf – Zack Snyder's Justice League Master Kent, he said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. While the scene where Superman gets his black suit is ridiculously cool, it was soon overshadowed by his confrontation with Steppenwolf. As the villain prepared to strike Cyborg down, the Kryptonian made an epic appearance. For dark side. Not impressed. Superman proceeds to embarrass his foe by destroying Steppenwolf's weapon and easily avoiding blows. The villain simply can't do anything to stop the Kryptonian. Although the other Justice League members get great hits in, no one can wreck Steppenwolf like Superman can. The way the Kryptonian absolutely dominated this battle makes us want to see this version of the character star in more epic fight scenes. Choice. They will join you in the sun, Cal. 
choice of whether to stand proud in front of the human race or not. You will help them accomplish wonders. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Flash Saves the World – Zack Snyder's Justice League Barry. Barry, are you okay? Barry. I got the wind knocked out of me. Need a few seconds, that's all! Flash's plans to help Cyborg save the world were harshly interrupted when a parademon gave him a severe injury. Although the speedster tries to recover quickly, he can't heal fast enough to stop Steppenwolf's apocalyptic plan. As the Earth begins to get destroyed, Barry decides to use his considerable powers to travel back in time and prevent this calamity. You just gotta go faster than the speed of light, far beyond the speed of light. You gotta break the rule, Barry, and you gotta do it now. His race to the past involves fantastic slow motion effects, awe inspiring visuals, and a perfect musical score. We truly felt Flash's desperation and determination to triumph. Not only was this scene emotional, it also gave us visuals unlike anything we'd seen in the superhero medium before. Flash's gorgeous run deserves to be considered as the best DCEU scene of 2021. Your kid was one of them, Dad. One of the best of the best. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.